Hello ladies and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to recreate this very simple yet beautiful fall makeup tutorial. I was inspired by the leaves to make this look the yellows, the browns, the reds, and the oranges. So hopefully you guys love this look and let's get started. So, hello once again. <laughs> so before recording this tutorial, I already did my eyebrows. Um, if you want to know how I did my eyebrows, like this video or comment on the blog post and let me know. I'll do tutorial. I use my, I'm going to use my foundation I use to correct my brows as my highlight. Um, so, I'm going to be using Too Faced Shadow Insurance as my eye primer. Everybody should use eye primer. If you do not have an eye primer, you can always use your foundation as your primer. A two for one special, that's always good. Just a disclaimer to everybody out there, I am completely terrible when it comes to makeup tutorials, so please don't judge me. I'm trying my best, okay? Don't giggle at me. So, I'm going to be using eyeshadows that come from my Sephora palette that I got for Christmas like three years ago. It has all the colors of the rainbow. So, right here, I'm just showing you just the gist of the colors that I'm going to be using for the eye makeup. Just basically this little cluster of yellows and oranges and reds and things like that. So, the first color I want to pick up is this nice, beautiful orange. You can use whatever orange of your choice. I'm going to put it on. I'm going to be applying it with my eyeshadow brush. You can use whatever eyeshadow brush you want. This is from um, Eco Tools. I got it like 7 billion years ago. So whatever eyeshadow brush you want to use is great. Now, I was noticing while I did the tutorial that my eyeshadow, the orange, wasn't really picking up well on the camera. That's due to my terrible lighting. Sorry about that. But you basically get the gist of the look. It's basically just applying an orange to the center of your lid. We're going to be using a, doing a three um, ombre type feel with the eyeshadows. So the middle one is going to be the orange color. Um, so you can pack that on. I'm kind of trying to pack it on quick and tightly onto it as much as I can so that I can get it to come up on the camera. But I'm kind of sort of thinking that you get the idea. So you're going to apply an orange eyeshadow to the middle of your lid with your eyeshadow brush. So... The next color that we're going to use is we're going to use the red. I'm going to be using, once again, the red from my Sephora palette. You can use whatever red color you like from whatever brand or whatever you may like to use. Um, I'm going to be applying that to the outer corner of my eye into my crease, kind of into the V-cut area of your eye in a windshield wiper type motion. The red is really coming up on camera here, so that's really good. I'm going to be packing it on in the corner so that it really blends in with that orange and that orange can also pick up that red. Then I'm going to be using my finger to blend. I am all about the simplicities of life, so instead of bringing out my blending brush to blend the colors together, I said, hey, why not? I'm going to blend with my fingers. So the next color I'm going to be picking up is a yellow color. I'm going to be applying that on the inner corner of my eye just to give it a nice, bright, fresh pop of color and to bring some illumination to the inner corners of my eye once again the yellow is not really picking up on camera but this yellow is really vibrant and really bright if you happen to have the same palette as I do you already know that these colors are really really great um and if you are using some other type of color if you want it to be really pigmented use a really bright yellow but if you want it to be a little bit more laid back and chill use a deeper maybe a gold would suffice or something like that but I kind of want it to be true to the colors of the leaves and whatnot that I've seen around so I wanted to make sure that that yellow popped and I also wanted something to be bright and beautiful on the inner corner of my eye so I said hey why not use yellow because originally I wasn't going to use it but Hey, it's all good. You can go back in and blend, blend, blend if you want. But I'm pretty pleased with what I've blended so far. I know it looks a little messy, but I swear it's going to get better. So, this is the cool part for me. I love, love, love using my blending brush. And this is like my signature thing. I love putting like some type of color in my crease or whatever. I'm pretty sure that all makeup artists and makeup people do it, but I just love it. So now I'm going to kind of polish the look with my brown eyeshadow. As you saw, I picked it up. It was, it kind of had like a glimmery type of, you know, glittery background to it. You can use a matte brown or a glittery brown, whatever you want to use. This is basically going to help all of my colors blend in together and kind of 
soften the look and not make it look too intense and too raggedy. <laughs> it's really going to polish off the look and give it that pop that I really love. I'm always doing this, like always adding color into my crease just because it's just a bomb diggity. This blending brush is from e.l.f. Um, Cosmetics. I got it from Target. You know, that big pack of 10 that you can buy. That's where I got that blending brush from. Excuse me. Had a little burp there. But, um, yes, I'm going to go back in and add some more red just because, um, a lot of the red got blended in with the brown, which I don't mind, but I want to just make sure that that red is present. You can go back in with red or not. It's completely up to you. The great thing about makeup tutorials is that you can create the look and make it to your own. Um, this is just me basically showing you how I got my look, but you can always go back in and use different colors or use a different method. But this is just basically my way of how I do it. Just going to go back and add some couple, add a couple finishing touches to polish off the look. A little bit more red, a little bit more brown. Just building the color onto each other so that it gets the look that I want. And when I'm pleased, that's pretty much it. Y'all like my do-rag? I had to use something to push these braids back, child. So I had to break out my old rusty, dusty do-rag that I wear to bed. So now basically you just want to clean up anything around your eyes. Of course, you can use a makeup rag. I kind of didn't have that much fallout, so I kind of just flipped it off with my fingers. Once again, don't judge me, I'm lazy. <laughs> so now you're just going to go in with your usual eyeliner and your mascara. I'm using um, a black eyeliner and black mascara from my local beauty supply store. I'm not really picky. I just like to use whatever is convenient and around for me to have. Just a thin line or a heavy line. However you want to do it, it's completely up to you. Um, I was trying to fast forward this part of the video, but I just figured, hey, why not? Who doesn't want to see a lovely video of me um, put applying my eyeliner look how strategically I'm doing it like I'm so focused right now it's ridiculous but um yeah if you're interested in how I have my hair right now which is in braids do not worry I'm going to be doing a hair update video next week so that we can talk about my hair and some of my favorite hair products and all that other good stuff as you can see I'm just rambling on as we get through the mascara portion of this video once again I'm using um eyeliner and mascara from my local beauty supply store but I usually do use um what am I trying to say drugstore brand but I ran out so I just had to grab whatever was in my budget which wasn't much and ladies that is it simple beautiful to the point I'm just gonna step back and show you the look do a little do a little something for you so I hope you guys enjoyed it for more information on this look and more product and where you can buy the products and what products I use and all that other good stuff, please visit my blog at nothingmineisaboutaplus.blogspot.com. I also have more pictures and also some lipstick options for you in this look. Until next time, love you lots like tater tots, ladies, and happy fall!